cobblestone. But um, yeah, they now judging by the CT sided start by Navi, they could actually um, get to the 16 to 12 or make it even closer or win this game. So I'm really curious to see how the pistol round will pan out. The CTs are going for quite an aggressive setup on a long with three players committed to that. Now Seas is falling back already while Zeus and Flamey are holding on to the B-bomb side. Zeus firing off a few shots through the smoke, has to reload, but doesn't do any damage to the terrorists at all. Kerrigan and Flamey then will exchange blows. Navi still caught in the rotation area. They are back flag, uh, back stabbed by Cajun B as Sipnix and Dupree will step it up. This is just going south so far for Navi. Seas is back in a way already with the defuse kit, but no armor for him. He's trying to salvage this round. But he's not able to do that. Sipnix with the last frag and making it 1 to 0. Quick B bombsite push. Navi with the wrong guess with the A, um, a aggression. This was a, a different TSM we saw. So much aggression, so such a fast execute, and they just kept pushing as well. It was a really uh, kind of non typical uh, TSM play, but it worked out really well, and they just got it to work phenomenally well. Not only was the strat good and fit the uh, the play that Navi did, but it also just was executed very, very well. We're going to see another uh, take coming into B and Sipnix with a great headshot there to open up things, but it is a stack on the B bomb side from the Navi players. So we'll see how this is going to fare. Dupree seeing if he can find anything. The Zeus takes out Carrigan, and the guy's pushing the smoke that sees. He does actually take down one, and Caden B also gets. Zeus. Sipnix takes out Elwood, and it's a 2 versus 2 situation for Cajun B. Gets the advantage once again, and it's now down to Guardian. He's got a Deagle in hand, and sometimes this guy can just prove to be magical with this Desert Eagle in hand. Yeah, the bomb is on the loose as well, just lying there out in the open. Guardian is trying to cover it as good as possible, but he expects somebody to come around his back. And that draws away the attention for a second, but he's got the right timing, just doesn't connect the bullets. Just barely misses Sipnix there on the way back and just can't finish off Cajun B either, who steps it up with a triple kill, but very close round there. Guardian with a few chances, but the Deagle recoil is really hard to work with. I don't know what you think about the Deagle, but a slight change would have been really cool to that weapon. It's definitely a situational weapon, but Guardian really, uh, really unlucky there. The, the, the shots that he kind of sprayed with the Deagle were just so close to hitting his opponents, but not quite. And look at this read from TSM. They're going to be speeding up towards the A-bomb side, and there's just not a single player. Now we have just made the totally wrong decision here. But it seems like they are going to be running around to the A-bomb side, so... At least uh, that is uh, somewhat a consolation. Yeah, they once again stack B and nobody comes around that area anytime soon. Edward with the P250 alone, he could maybe find a cheeky headshot as his teammates are called in for the rotation. The terrorist already captured the A-bomb, so but device just runs into Edward, who takes him out straight away. Now Uzi in the hands, and they will exchange the weapon, trying to push in there together. Dupree and Zipnik though handle them really, really well. Dupree with another shot, making it a triple kill, and Carrigan with the last one to finish it off. 3-0 to zero in favor of TSM, and we are heading into the rifle round. Yeah, and it's looking good so far for TSM. 3 is 0, and they haven't really... Um, I mean, they haven't looked scared, they haven't looked shaken at all. Um, so far it's actually been really, really well executed by TSM, and it has been some very fast plays, which usually isn't such a TSM way to play. But um, it's going to be interesting to see if they can keep building on this round, uh, round score that they've kind of already uh, allotted here. Yeah, and they barely barely lost well they lost a few team members but six kills in three rounds that's something that the terrorists can cope with especially with three players on high money they shouldn't feel too much pressure heading into this one they are taking it really slow as well um, expecting a CT um, kind of attack move on a long which is going to happen, but a little delayed. Edward is playing with the thought of pushing in there while TSM gets ready for the B execution. Three players waiting there inside for the Danes to make that happen. Now, 
they have five players in position already, but Navi checking out party receives a lot of information and gets them to another rotation. Sue stepping it up, getting the frag as well. 4v5 heading into the bomb site. Carrigan with the flash, popping through the smoke, but now he will fire off. Getting killed by Cease right away. Cease with a double kill. Guardian chimes in as well, leaving it up to Device to get back into the round for the Danes. But he's already backing away from the B bomb site. Tries to save his gun for the next round. He knows that they have enough money, but saving that AWP would benefit them a lot. Yeah, definitely will. Um, they've got decent economy, as you say, but it's not too good and. Overpass is really, a, again, one of those maps where it can all kind of spiral out of control, especially when you're playing off the, the T side. So they don't want Navi to get too many rounds here at the start, because if you just keep force buying, keep buying up, you will end up out of money really quick, and uh, then the CTs will just absolutely take over. So TSM, a good decision to uh, just fall back and uh, kind of recuperate with that AWP that they've now got. Two guys on pistols though, that's not looking too good. Yeah, but KGB and Kerrigan could stay back or could try to to draw the attention somewhere else or go for those close quarters just like KGB is doing for now. Hanging out in the underpass in the rotation area and TSM will spread out. And I don't know what you think about that idea, but it's kind of risky as well. Yeah, but Kerrigan's gonna be seeing the head of Guardian possibly and if... Oof, Device was just about to get that shot off and that would have possibly proved fatal for Guardian but does not quite get caught. Now Edward in a very interesting position and he could really abuse the smoke if played properly but TSM, are they wise to it? Carrigan is not but he does dink him and he does get taken down instantly returned on. That is very important for the T side who now have to um, take a bomb site one way or another but the CTs heavily stacked towards this bomb site and uh, doesn't seem to quite make a change at the minute. Sipnix at least uh, gets an advantage, a numbers advantage from the T's. But look at Guardian, he's behind two of the players. Can he take them both? He gets blinded. Cajun B wins the duel and the pre and Cajun B. Uh, Cajun B very low on HP but Zeus now also low and it's Dupree with 100 HP does give a bit of spray through and KDMP is gonna get the plant. He's got a Molotov as well, so if you can just Molotov off Seuss's uh, angle, this could be big, but I think Dupree has got it on the lockdown and he does so in the edges of the round here. A bit of a scrappy round, a bit of a jammy round, but I mean, it all works out in the end and they do get that fourth round on the board. Very, very key round. Yeah, the flash saved TSM's lives there, even though Guardian was able to pick up one and almost kill Cajun B. Um, he was slow to react because he was still blind and he didn't know where Cajun B was. He knew that he was on, I think, 10 bullets or something, so he didn't want to keep spraying because he would have ended up reloading his gun. So that was changing the outcome of the round and TSM were kind of happy and a little bit lucky as well even though they handled it 2v1 just like experts in doing that. Obviously they are pros, they are supposed to be experts at handling 2v1 situations. Now Flamey handles that outside situation really really nicely. 5-7 kills for him, 2 apiece. 3v3 situation coming up as Device gets the kill with the AWP. Now Edward gets his hands on the AK. That is two rifles in the hands of the CTs. Yeah, it looks like Su uh, Seized. Uh, <laughs> these names, Seuss and Seized, they're so alike. I, I can't figure out how to uh, even talk anymore. But it looks like Seized is trying to go for exits here, but uh, they will be making their way out of the bomb site, possibly with all of the guns, but the bomb is going to come in. They do actually all survive. So that is very important for their economy. And being 5-1 up on the T side, is looking phenomenally well and I think they will be very happy with this scoreline so far. Yeah, even though Navi will be happy with two guns that they saved, allows them to get a lot of grenades in their hands and also purchase the two uh, defuse kits that they now have. But uh, yeah, TSM with a very good start in this terrorist side. So um, they j will just keep doing what they are doing, opening up, out, open up rounds without any real further ado. Zeus, however, closes that door on them. Dupree with the AK then 
Gets the refrag, making it a 3v4, and the CT's on the rotation already. They need to hurry up, though. The terrorists are really eager to clinch control of the a, uh, of the B bomb site, with the bomb being going down. Dupree walks in there, tries to help his teammates out, sees, closes him out, flamey with another one. It is a 3v1. Devices forced back, and once again, he just saves his weapon. There is no way for him to get back. I really should stop uh, following these smokes. I don't know if I'm just unlucky or it's just a huge bug that every time gets me locked onto those smokes, but I really can't get off them. And uh, we have to wait for them to disappear before we can follow any of the action, but it all works out in the end. Um, I do think we caught a bit of the most uh, exciting and important action, but Device still holding on to that up, and uh, he hasn't really done much with it. He's only on three kills after seven rounds, so let's see if we can actually... Uh, see him take an entry pick it looks like the orb battle is possibly gonna go down and let's follow guardian here who is uh watching the angle oh he actually jumps and they both myth miss that is uh, a bit of a weird orb battle but uh both live with just a bit of uh, a scare there yeah the heart race uh, the heart rate definitely raised at that moment but TSM is able to push Guardian back into the bomb site, and they will take control of a long, giving them a very good overview of at least, or not an overview, but at least a very good entrance to the bomb site. Makes the CTs focus on two different parts of the map. So the B bomb site is clean, and Navi is already rotating towards A. Very well played by them. Early call gives them the chance to get four players ready to oppose that attack by the terrorists. But Zeus, as I speak, he's rotating back towards B. Leaves three players on the on the A bomb site. Edward gets one frag, but Cajun B pushes forward together with Device. He will make it a four v three in favor of the terrorists, and they have the smoke in place. They will go for the bomb plan. Uh, what can Navi do right now? They need to get a few frags. They will do that with Zeus, but the terrorists are backing away. So now they are trying to reset their positions while the CTs gain a lot of ground on the A bomb. So they are actually already in control of the forward of the uh, of the forward part as they speak. Dupree will get himself two frags and Zipnix with the other one. 62 TSM don't allow the CTs to take control of this game. A thing we need to note here is that Device, maybe only on 4 kills, but that kill that he just took one on the round, he got a kill um, over towards the truck uh, by a guy who was pretty much lurking in a corner behind a smoke, and as it disappeared he took that kill. Had he not, his teammate Dupree would have gone down, and I am positive that they would have lost the round. So a very, very big kill by Device, and uh, Guardian unable to find any angles through also meant that uh, they were able to win that round. but. This uh, should be a clean sweep, at least that's how it looks so far. Zeus the only one with armor and the T's with pretty good map control uh, all around uh, the board here. A very clever boost coming in and they do actually get one kill and then second as well. So now Dupree does actually take one, but he needs to not die here because it's going to be a very expensive round. Flamey and Edward both getting shot down by Sipnix and it should have been an easy round but turned out to be more than that. And we have uh, more in their locker than they, they yeah, show at the minute, it seems. Yeah, they got roasted after that. But uh, still, a good effort by Navi, at least making it a little bit more expensive and keeping the terrorist money quite low, to be honest. 6k for Zipnix and Dupree. But um, yeah, the terrorists are in full control. Even if they lose a few rounds right now, they should be able to grind out at least one more before the halftime ends. And when they make it 8 to 7, uh, I don't really see Navi winning this matchup. So the Ukrainian Russian mixture, they know that they have to pick it up right now and they have to win every single round that's left in this half. And that's a huge task at hand. And we try to accomplish that with a aggressive A bomb site setup, but once again it's TSM on the B bomb site. What a perfect flash there to Guardian's head. He does actually get one, but Sipnix quickly returns and it does look like they might be getting the bomb plan now, but it's all down to Cajun to win this duel and he does so indeed. Wins the second as well, so that's a very big kill and now the CT is once again left stranded. They're pretty much on the other bomb site and Edward takes one and this does make it possible, but the T's still in decent control. Device needs to get this kill, and he does not. So now the round is completely open, and Cajun B gets taken out by Flamey. 
That is very good teamwork from the Navi players. It is going to be a close one, but they definitely are going to get this bomb defuse in. Yeah. So it was taken a little bit fast, yeah. But they still managed to do it. And they saved the AWP, so uh, Guardian has something to work with in this round as well. So, yeah, Navi getting into the position to at least spark that comeback, even though it's going to be really hard against a 5 AK buy by TSM. And the Danes still have a few aces up their sleeves. Maybe they don't want to pull them up just yet. But they will most likely try to fool the CTs around in the upcoming round. It's not going to be fooled though, Guardian, with the opening frag. Now the CTs are quickly falling back, but not quite as far as I expected them to do. Flamey and Edward still stand the ground on the outside of the A bomb side, dropping the bomb carrier, making it a 4v2. Dupree is still not finished yet. Sipnix on the other side of the bomb uh, of the map, picking up the frag on B against Zeus and now they try to make their way towards the C4 again. Flamey is still holding that angle together with Edward who's coming in from a long. He needs to work together with him and they have spotted that a bomb is gone. They think it's going to be over at the B bomb site. Edward is running out with his knife out and Sipix is just waiting there with the bomb in his no, actually it is Dupree waiting there with the bomb and Sipix is waiting for Edward to make that push. He revealed his position by just running around and it's an easy frag for the veteran in TSM. Dupree will put down the bomb and play me on a very, very long way back towards A. And look at Sipnik's position. This is basically a one round. The only way Flamey can really kill him is if he does something stupid and that was kind of stupid, uh, <laughs> throwing that position. I mean, he, he kind of has to because if Flamey runs around into um, the B bomb site and then up to CT spawn, kills the pre, Sipnix has quite a long rotation. He probably didn't yeah. expect Flamey to be that far away from the bomb site, but it was a perfect position and it was actually really well played by Dupree, letting not only one go by, but letting both go by and then informing Sipnix that, hey, one guy is coming towards you if you take this position, he's not going to at all know you're there and you're going to get that easy kill, then we can take the bomb yeah. site and it's basically a one round. Now, not only was that a one round, they've actually also uh, effectively put Navi here on a uh, save and Flamey the only one with a pistol that actually does any damage so Kerrigan does get one and he might be able to find one more and he does so one guy in the bathroom area that sees Kerrigan will most likely not check his angle and he does not so a long rotation coming around from Cajun B and uh, this might be a good one but uh, TSM players already on the bomb site now Cajun B needs to make sure to find Edward and he does so uh, a pretty uh, well handled round from TSM, not really letting, you know, anybody come up close to them. The only one that really did that was Carrigan, and he just rushed through because he had an SMG, so... It's a good read by TSM, reading that Navi had no armor, and that they therefore could spend their money more effectively uh, by buying SMGs instead of AKs, or at least in this case, one SMG. Well, speaking of the buying, look at the CT's buy right now, kind of weird. One for Mass and one M4A4, they know that they need to stop TSM from getting any more rounds on the board, but Zeus already perished with a CC-75, not getting anything done except for some damage there to Dupree, but it's not really going to help his squad. He was looking for the frag to pick up a weapon, carry it back to his teammates, maybe dropping it for Edward, who is still sitting at 100 HP. But it's not happening for, for Navi right now, and they have to rely on Flamey on the A bomb side with the FAMAS to do some big damage on the Danes as they will approach the A bomb side that's almost set in stone already. If they would circle around to B, Seized would be there. So kind of a good setup. Seized is able to quickly backstab the terrorists, but they need to be slowed down at first. Now they will walk in there, Sipix with the first frag, Flamey though with the double kill, he steps up as I demanded, three kills in fact, making it a 2v3, suddenly TSM is reeling, but he gets caught with an 8 in his hand, Cajun B takes him out, Guardian with the P250, coming back at the terrorist, lining up another angle, but Cajun B gets rid of him, and Seize is already there with the backstab, however he wasn't able to take Cajun B out straight away, and the terrorist will slip through his fingers, at least get the bomb plant down. 5 HP remaining for the Dane as Seas is settled on that angle. He will just take him out as soon as he was going for the peak. Almost no chance for KGB as um, he was down in a 2v1. 
um, but a very, very much needed round for Navi, and they just barely get it done. A, a, a thing uh, that I spotted here was the KGMP when he threw that smoke, he was low on HP and he knew that, so he threw the smoke, he waited for C's to fire a couple of bullets through the smoke, trying to connect onto KGMP, and then he went through. This is a really nice trick that kind of, you know, rarely people sh shoot a couple of bullets through, then stop, and then start again. So, having that yeah. low HP, he cannot just be hit once, he will then die, and therefore he waited for uh, Seas to sh stop shooting, but Seuss with a brilliant boost here and uh, actually picks off two players, so the T side having to kind of push the B bomb side, but now uh, far behind as far as players go, two players less than the Navi side, and when you miss shots like that, it doesn't help much. Flamey takes out two, and he's been a wonder boy here the last couple of rounds. Device seeing if he can do the damage here, takes out two. Almost the third there, but cannot quite connect, and there's a flanker as well, so this could be very hard and seized. Almost that running shot um, connects onto him, and uh, Navi get their fifth round on the board. Yeah, now they actually managed to get a halfway decent streak going and get themselves back some weapons, but yeah, there is the AWP for Guardian. You will carry that towards A and aggressively set it up over there. Now TSM on the way as well, but they know, oh, Guardian just missing that terrorist pass by. That would have been a really sick opener for the CTs. Now, speaking about the scoreline though, 9 to 5, you could argue that TSM almost won the map already with their good terrorist performance, but we have the similar um, the similar uh, halftime score with 9-7 to seven between the two teams um, earlier on and Navi was able to win that game so th it's still not really over and especially as Navi have the man advantage right now Edward steps out the same goes for C's in toilets they both get a frag each make it a 2v5 with Perrigan down to 3 HP he gets dropped by C's put pistol Civics is the last man and oh, Edward is dropping down and going down as well. That's a huge bummer for him. As still, Navi have the round on the board, making it six to nine. And they could draw it back with the pistol round in the back and with a few good following rounds. Yeah, I mean, nev you never know in CS, never count a team out. Um, and. Navi definitely a team capable, especially on the T side of overpass, so TSM really need to be aware that this could become closer than they had anticipated, and uh, therefore they will definitely be looking to pick up the pistol round. I mean, they probably would no matter what, but it's very important that they do this time around, and the Dupree opens up, and that is very, very important, but T players, trying to see if they can actually catch the people rotating away from this aggressive push, but not quite. And Dupree now trying to rotate away, gets a really nice shot onto Seuss. That was picture perfect from Dupree, even running as well, and headshots him straight away. No chance for him. Now Device, standing strong on the A-bomb side, sees Guardian, and sees if he can actually win the fight, but... Guardian moving around like a madman, Device does pick it up in the end though, and it's all left to the remaining two Na'Vi players. Looking pretty grim, and yeah, TSM did what they were supposed to if they want to really win this game decisively. They got the first opening frags, Dupree fell back into the bomb site. he stayed alive, then was Device, and now it's Kerrigan, so everyone is doing his job. He spots himself the target, goes up at Dupree, covers his in-game leader, and steps in for him to keep everyone alive, and like, like, um, like Titan wasn't able to get any frag against Fnatic, it's now Navi not getting too much damage there to the CTs in this one. No, and it's also a case to be made um, for the fact that the, the rounds that TSM have won have been pretty decisive, but the rounds that Navi have won have been pretty close. There have been some scrappy rounds here and there for TSM, but I feel um, that Navi mostly won clutch rounds or stuff like yeah. that. So, I mean. The, the scoreline already favors TSM, but as far as the rounds, uh, as to how they have panned out, I feel it still um, also favors TSM, so it could be that TSM are just going to take off now and Navi will, will not really be able to keep up. 
Yeah, Seas is trying to take the attention away from the A-bomb, so by ringing off a few Tech-9 shots, and he seemingly is uh, successful in doing that, the terrorists, uh, the CTs will actually rotate device into Bird's Nest, but um, yeah, it shouldn't do too much of a difference as Kerrigan with the P90 and Dupree with the P90 as well. They could have a good crossfire on the A-bomb side. Now he's wasting a lot of time over there, 35 seconds on the clock. As the smoke comes in, the terrorists will be slowed down once again. They need to start the execution right now. They can't really waste any more time, but it's Dupree on the other side of the smoke, just waiting there. Really good position by him. He just sticks to it as Kerrigan goes down to Flamey. Dupree quickly turns around, gets a second and a third frag as well. 4v1, Guardian is alone and not alone anymore. He joins his teammates in a pretty early grave, even though it was late in the round. It was early in the half. 11 to 6 now in favor of TSM. Navi once again on a save. And it should give the CTs a chance to work their economy up even further. It's a very smart play by Dupree there. Because Navi can't shoot through the smoke. If they do, they know which side they're going to play on. And uh, therefore Dupree is, is pretty much unkillable. They're not going to shoot him through the smoke. And then he just waits for the flash to pop. And when it does, he runs through the smoke and comes be uh, like shows up behind all of the players. So uh, that was a very, very brainy play. And it was very well uh, played by Dupree there. But um, Guardian also being able to actually take out Device. And uh, now Cajun B takes down Flamey. Carrion looking for C's, but C's not about to show just yet. And Dupree wins the duo versus Edward. Guardian here up at party. Trust to see if he can kill Carrion, but he's going to get a help in hand from Dupree. And Seized comes out of nowhere and gets a knife on Carrion. And now it's a two versus two situation. So not only a lot of money gain, but Seized, that was a big play. And he's now kind of equaled up the round, at least as far as numbers go. But uh, it does go down, and it does look like it's going to be a round that favors TSM, and it will be. So 12 to 6, they've got the maximum uh, out of the pistol round, or at least the, the, the first three rounds that usually um, kind of go your way when you win the pistol round. So, so um, yeah, it's looking really good for TSM. Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate for C is he checked the corner but didn't check it carefully enough because he was in a rush um, to check everything and make it to the B bomb set as quick as he could. And that allowed uh, Cajun B, I think it was, to get the frags from behind. So TSM with a 12 to 6 goal and heading into the first rifle round. If Navi can't win that, it's 13 14 to 6. And yeah, TSM with only two more rounds to go. So they know what's at stake. They know that they really need to win this round. They put the AWP in the hands of Guardian, who's taking it to A long. Nobody there to be spotted yet. TSM hangs back deeply in the A bomb side with two players over at toilets. They have some information on the pushes that the terrorists can come up with, and they have support players to keep themselves alive as well. There is Carry again taking up the kill. The smoke was in place already before he fired off, so he is able to get away with his life. The majority of his HP stays on him as well. Dupree with the second smoke putting it out now. Navi is forced to take it to the B bomb side, and TSM should be able to tell that as well. They are making quite a, quite some noise. The CTs should be able to rotate in a few moments, especially as Edward takes out KGB. He makes the move quite obvious to the CTs. Flamey Guardian and Seized hanging on to this round by just a thread. They will get the bomb plant down. 20 seconds on the clock as Kerrigan goes to work onto Guardian. Flamey with the refrag. It's a 2v2 right now. Dupree comes into the bomb site and takes out Flamey and Seized follows right in the tracks. Device was almost on the defuse already. TSM didn't waste any time at all on the retake. Well played by Dupree to pick up the two frags. If he had allowed the terrorists to push out of the bomb site into into front of B, it could have turned around the round. But like that, TSM stay in control and make it 13 to 6. Yeah, and as you say, it's very important that they didn't, uh, well, they weren't allowed to actually push out of the site because the vice didn't have a kit. So having to battle one or even two guys, that would uh, that would probably have been too much for him. At the same time, it's very important that Navi got the bomb plant because this means that they could buy up. Had they not, they wouldn't have been able to. So, yeah, so far, a big bit of back and forth. Uh, Kerrigan takes out one, Dupree takes out one, Zeus gets one kill, and Dupree a bit 
uh, carelessly runs around the outside area, and device also picked up by Flamey now, and um, it's uh, advantage Navi currently, but the the players spread out on the map not only for one team but for both, and it uh, could go either way here. Cajun B though in a fantastic position, just sitting in this corner, and it's not a position I think Navi are gonna check, but he does go out and look and Flamey does not win the duel, but Zeus does get the return kill and it's all left to Sitnix and uh, Zeus once again looking for the kill. Guardian trying to get the plant and Sitnix spotted out so this is gonna be a hard one. Guardian is blinded a bit by his teammate but Sitnix tries to see if he can find the angle but he can't quite and Guardian is just playing this so well. He's running around all the way to the left side and he does pick up Sipnix in the end so Aranda started out looking uh, pretty back and forth and, and, and like it could go either way actually goes in the way of an RV and uh, that is very nice to see. This means that we're going to have a bit of a longer game as they now are able to buy up uh, a bit of, uh, you know, what I'm looking for? Equipment. Weaponry? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and weaponry. You. And armory as well. <laughs> on the other side we have TSM on the safe though. and. Um, a good idea by Zipix, by the way, to use the Molotov cocktail to push Zeus back and then uh, separate the two, two terrorists from each other so they can't help each other out. Sadly, he wasn't able to get the frag, but and Navi is just slicing through it right now, capturing the front of the B bomb site, leaving only Carrigan over there, and he goes down to Edward. So the CTs now separated themselves. Device with the CZ-75 pushing or thinking about pushing through the smoke. He kind of barely can tell where the terrorists are and he goes for the luck shot. He just finished off Edward. Great job by him. But he goes for the deadly peak. Guardian had his scope settled down already. Took a big, big breath just to be super secure that he gets the kill. And Dupree realizes that there's nothing to do about the outcome of the round. Saving his armor and maybe even the deagle. He's probably not looking for the deagle too much, but he's looking for the armor save right now. Especially as TSM will be able to buy up in the upcoming round. He just wants to have some additional equipment heading into the 22nd round in just a few moments as a bomb will blow up. Navi already exited the bomb site setting up a good route to have everyone secure. Dupree peeks out and Flamey comes back to the scene just in time to pick him off 13 to 8 in favor of TSM still but Navi gets closer and they uh, if they win another rifle round they could make TSM sweat. Yeah I mean that's the that's the point that we need to get across here because TSM with a really really bad economy they are on a full rifle buy though but it is kind of the thing that as soon as momentum starts building in, in Counter-Strike, it can really uh, be hard to stop. And Navi up building a bit of momentum here. And Guardian, his positioning is so good. Carrigan awaits him, but unfortunately does not win that duel. So Guardian gonna keep on pushing through. And uh, the, the T players, seeing if they can actually get closer to the bomb site, but Cajun B says no. And uh, although they are not out of the fight yet, it has definitely been delayed and device with that smoke shot that is just on point and now KGB is gonna get flanked here and I don't think he knows so he does actually win that duel how did he ever manage that I have absolutely no clue Sipnix with another smoke uh, shot there it seems and Flamey last man standing it's unlikely but uh, yeah gets taken up by Dupree and a very very weird round where the control constantly shifted once again it's these rounds are so back and forth that it's it, it makes for a very entertaining game and it's a pleasure to watch yeah definitely a pleasure to watch and maybe more a pleasure to watch TSM right now because they never really gave up control of the B bomb side they stayed in there and as soon as Navi tried to fully get control they got a frag and then they got another one and a few seconds later they picked up the last so the Danes doing a good job of holding on to whatever Navi is throwing at them. Now the Ukrainian-Russian mixture will throw a Tech 9 AK mixture with Edward being the only one with the Tech 9. The rest of his squad needs to open up the round, but they go down to Device with a double kill in underpass. Now gain 
getting ready for the backstab, pushing on through onto the top of the stairs, firing off a few shots, getting that other one. No, it was actually Dupree helping him out on that one. Device with the last onto Flamey Guardian, down to 11 HP. And he exchanged his weapon for one of his teammates. Um, so he has some equipment to work with, but almost no time and force CTs to work against. He actually changes the weapon in the wrong moment. Dupree has him covered. 15 to 8, 7 match points for TSM. Yeah, it's looking really good for the Danes here. 15 8, as you're saying. Dupree on 27 kills. We've seen a few. Um, I actually only think we've seen one 30 bomb today, and uh, that was from Happy in the NBS game uh, versus Cloud9. And um, yeah, Debris definitely uh, being a contender for the second one of those, but a quick B play is coming down. And uh, Seas actually entries up, but Cajun B takes the second. Flamey does take down Cajun B. Device now gets one. And he's all alone. He does get dinked, so. It is unlikely he'll make it out and he won't. Guardian with the wall banged eagle shot and uh, yeah, decent money on TSM but deciding not to force it up, I think that's wise. They they want to just even out the money and make sure that, you know, there is this thing called loser bonus in CS where the more rounds you lose in a row, the more money you get per round. It stops at five but you get the general idea. And uh, right now, TSM's loser bonus, bonus has been reset because they recently lost their first one. Um, it's only one in a row, I guess you can say. So they want to make sure to save some money. But Device uh, opens up onto Zeus, and it's uh, looking like a good start. Yeah, so yeah, the CTs could do some damage with the CZs, which uh, gets denied by Guardian. But still four men alive, one of which has the armor. Um, they are getting ready for a backstab as well. Navi need to watch out. Seized has the back covered, however. And the next exchange is going to be Edward against Device. And Device will find him from the back. Guardian, however, does the same to the Dane. Flamey with another shot on the A bomb site. The KGB is the last man over there. Navi should clinch this round and make it 15 to 10. They are not giving up yet. KGB is not giving up either. Good headshot onto Flamey, getting it back in his, not in his favor, but at least not giving up control of the A boxer with another frag onto Guardian. He actually has a chance to clutch it, which sees Xavier to close that door on him just in time. TSM almost made Navi give away that round that was um, really, really certain for them to win. That was really scary.